Crafters, it's Louise with you and today I'm sharing a scrapbook layout process video created for the September challenge over at Off The Rails Scrapbooking. And this month we have a fun food inspired mood board and I must admit I found this quite challenging to begin with purely just because food is not something that I take pictures of. Um, my focus is more about memory keeping and I don't often feel like food has much of a memory so finding a photo for this layout was a real challenge. Eventually I um, found this photo in my stash which is actually of the first school lunches that I ever made and I decided that this was going to be my food inspiration. So I've actually titled the page Food Lunches Blah because I'm still only in the first school year of my boy's life and I've already had enough of making school lunches. So really the title is appropriate but I've got many more years to go. What you've seen me do for this page is I've added some clear gesso to the background and I've also um, taken my colour inspiration from the little cupcake that you saw earlier. It was an embellishment that I found in my stash and I sort of thought it might be something that I wouldn't normally put on a page but on a food inspired page it just worked perfectly. So I'm going to mount my photo onto some black and I'm having a little bit of a, a fiddle around. I sort of, again, raiding my stash found this vellum paper and it's got the gold so I'm sort of using a little bit of gold as well. And I just want to um, sort of have a bit of a play with some mixed media in the background but also um, keep the layering quite simple. So that's why I sort of am not trying to put too much paper behind my photo, um, just to try and use uh, mixed media in the background. Now you can see also I've got a stencil there and I've grabbed some paste too. I'm using the embossing paste. Um, if you need to know what it is, have a look in the video, you'll see a link there. And I really like this embossing paste because it really is so smooth and easy to spread. Um, I also have found that it doesn't tend to go hard in the jar either, so you don't get those sort of lumpy bits when you're trying to use paste on a page. And when I use paste, I generally leave the page and and let it dry naturally. I don't like to use the heat gun unless I really have to um, and that's sort of just a personal preference. Your paste is going to dry no matter what but it just depends on whether you like to use the heat gun or whether you like to leave it and come back to it later. Now to color my background I've chosen blue and I could have used any color realistically because this page is not um, focused on particularly boys. Obviously my lunches are for boys but it doesn't really matter. I could have used pink or orange or, or yellow or any colour but I quite like how the blue really lifts the background of um, like it, how it sits between the white and the photo and the story and the layers. So I'm using the Calypso Artist Ink from Color Blast, and I'm just sort of adding some dots and then uh, spreading that around just with a watered down paintbrush. And I quite like the texture that this um, has built in the background. So I've added a little bit of black stamping over the top and you can see that I'm going backwards and forwards just between um, the layers that I've created and um, the, the background just to see how it's looking as I start to build on that. Now it was all looking um, just a little bit sort of black on blue on white, it wasn't really cohesive so that's why I decided to grab some white gesso, water it down and add some splatters just using that fan sort of brush to actually help um, uh, s spread that, get those really nice little splatters. Now because I've only done a partial um, blue background with my piece of vellum you can see the blue, uh, sorry you can see the white where I haven't actually added the colour to it. So I decide that I'm going to mount that vellum onto craft because I had this piece of craft again with the same sort of crosses like what I had on the vellum and I wanted to actually incorporate that into the layout somehow. 
Now that I'm happy with how that background and how the layers are coming together, I'm going to start to add the finishing touches. You can also see I have slightly added some torn strips to the top and bottom of the photo and just a couple of extra little tags and things going in here. Nothing too technical about this page, but I hope that it inspires you to have a bit of a look through your stash and maybe not think of food in the typical sense of the word. You know, you could find the inspiration in a sheet of paper. You could find it in a title. For me, of course, I found it in my photo and built the layout from there. So I think this is quite a um, unique memory that I will keep um, and something that sort of my family can look at down the track, especially to see that, you know, school lunches were something that we did and it may not exist in the future and you know to see what's in a lunchbox now is going to be very different to down the track so uh, again to help in that background area just some layers of cotton and uh, a little bit of uh, tacky glue adhesive as well just to help all that stay together now working on the positioning of my title and I just couldn't quite get it to um, I wanted to to sort of circle it around that arch um, of the circle but it just wasn't happening so I ended up I do it just slightly different um, leaving it till off camera I am just adding some stars my journaling doing a little bit of bits and pieces here so you've got the finished touch of the title and I'm going to um, trace around that and basically that makes this layout finished. So I really hope you enjoyed watching that and I look forward to seeing your creations for Off The Rails scrapbooking this month. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe.